Well, thanks for joining me for another edition of Jim Wilson's FNN Fishing News Network. And boy, have I got a crowd today, my favorite people, my lovely wife, Pat. Hey, everybody. I'm so thrilled to be on your show, Jim. I Thank know. you for Finally, having me. you can take a break. You've just been working your tail off. Yeah, and but you it's all go good. go from one thing to another. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got our doggies here. Everybody loves the doggies. They just went to the vet. But didn't we have a great time at Carabas the other we night? We did. We had such a great time. It was so fun. Jimmy Music is there as his new little baby. Isn't she beautiful? Beautiful child. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And the food is just outstanding. It is. And here we are at beautiful St. Andrews Marina. Absolutely. And I love one of our this favorite marina. spots. It's gorgeous. And out uh, here. this is where we usually put in. And we put in here the other day with Noel. And yep. And boy, did we catch the fish. We sure did. Five miles off the beach. And you caught, how many red snapper did you catch? Um, I five, caught four. two really no, big No, I don't mean the keepers. All together, oh. you caught five or six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had three nice keeper red snapper, and yeah. then Mel caught the nice big hog fish. That hog snapper, I'd never I mean, seen snapper, one yeah. caught. That was very cool. And then you pulled in a couple of king mackerel. Oh, my gosh. That was so much fun. I love Five them. king mackerel, and yeah. we were five miles off the and beach. And then a couple of sharks. And, and, oh, yeah, that's right. And what else? Um... Oh, that one fish. I can't remember the name of the, that one fish. It's kind of funny looking. Uh, Remora? No, I can't remember. I'll think of it in a minute. All right. <laughs> but anyway, we had just a great time. And then, of course, today's show. Triggerfish. Oh, yeah. Triggerfish. Ca caught a big triggerfish. Uh, today's show, we're going to be featuring our friends down at uh, Stem to Stern. We were at their opening they had yes. recently and got to see the uh, fire dance. That was so fun. And you know what is really cool about that place? It is consignment marine parts. Yeah. And there isn't another one in Panama City, to my knowledge. No. And, and you just take your stuff down there. And what, as we said and on there, that a lot of people have these older boats. Yeah. And you need old original stuff. And it's you can find it there for just a tenth of the price. Exactly. And super nice people. Oh, wonderful people. And it was just, just so nice much thing. fun. We had a great time. And we had a great time there. And then I'm going to, I won't have the commercial on this week, but we're welcoming Mark Nichols, the insurance agent. Well, He's going to be our new advertiser. Mike, Mike Nichols. Nichols, yes. I'm, I'm thinking of my, yeah, Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols, yeah. And of course, he's our uh, uh, city commissioner for our district. Excellent, yes. And uh, this, all these good things are happening, but it's nothing better than having you, my dear. Mm. Mm. Thank you. And the doggies, and they were so good. They went to the vet and they got their shots and they all right. had they got everything they I needed. Want, I tell you what, Jim, I want to get out there fishing again. Folks, you have got to go fishing because it was a blast. And we had so much fun, and it wasn't that hot either. It really wasn't. No, it was a nice, there's just enough breeze. Yeah, there was a nice breeze, and it really wasn't that hot. We, we came in about one, about 2 o'clock or something. Oh, I think so, 2 or 2.30. Yeah, it, was, it, it was lovely. We, we just had a great time. I had so much fun. You yeah, go and, uh, you know, and Noel and Mel are just so much to, fun to yeah, be around, too. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then Carla, of course, she makes those super sandwiches, <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> everything just went perfect. And it's funny, you know, I heard a lot of people talking about going out and not doing well on snapper. Really? And fish. And here we are five miles off the beach, folks, on just one of the regular, you go get half inch, the map at half right. inch tackle, find one, one of those reefs, and go out there. Of course, we had to fight our way around dive boats for a while. Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> but they're entitled to be there, too. So yes, they are. That, yep. That's what we have to do. But uh, again, it's just so much fun to be with all of you. And I can't tell you how much fun it was being at Stem to Stern for their party. Love that, just love that. That fire dancer, he was from Hawaii. Yes. I mean, uh, a, I mean a real live fire dancer from Hawaii. To see a guy twirling two batons with blazing flames. On each end. On each end. Unbelievable. And twirling them fast. Yeah. And then, to take one and stick it on his tongue? Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, he was doing stuff. I was just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't see that. Oh, my gosh. It was unbelievable. It, and it was just fun. It was a, it was a great time. And I love those people. And uh, you Folks, you need to go down there, stem to stern. It's on. Yeah, we're going to have. Tell them where it is, honey. It's right there on, uh, it's right at Tarpon Dock Bridge. Tarpon and Dock Tarpon Bridge. Dock Seafood. Across from. Or uh, from Second Chance. Second Chance. Right. Yes, yeah, so you right. can't miss it. And I mean, it, 
the whole thing was so many, so many nice people yeah. there, by the way. There sure were, yeah. And uh, we're, it, it's just so great to be down here. We're going to take a look and see what tides are doing because, as you know, we always have to watch those tides. And it was funny, when we were fishing last week, the fishing stopped right when the tide changed. Interesting. As long as we had that strong incoming tide, we had good fishing. And then the tides changed right about noontime. So folks, and, pay attention to those tides because it, it makes a difference. As, it, it, as soon as it changed, bam, fishing just stopped. And they really did. They just stopped biting. And yep. by the way, for bait, we were just using cut up cigar minnows. Cut up cigar minnows. We didn't have any even live, no live bait. We didn't even no. need live bait. Mm -mm. We did not. No. And uh, it's just, you know, we just look forward to this every year. And now with the crazy things that National Marine Fisheries is doing, they are trying to just literally put everybody out of business. Look at all the bad weather we've had. Yeah. The boats can't go out. I mean, the charter boats, the head boats. Right. And they don't get any credit for that. They, they can't make it up. I know it. And the whole thing, that's our good friend, Dr. Roy Crabtree, the king crab that I call him. He's the guy that just controls this. And he's like the Wizard of Oz. He's down there behind that curtain. And he just pulls all those levers and says, which one can I use today to really mess things up? I hope you and understand I'm deliberately aiming at him, folks, because I think he's the cause and the problem. I want, I want you to clarify something for, for folks, because people have said to me, Haven't, isn't there an, a second snapper season? Is that true? Or no. they, is it just extended? No, or? no the, the recreational has 45 or 48 days, whatever it is. We're recreational. Okay. And we can fish inside state waters, and, and but when federal waters closes, that's a much shorter season. It's only 28 days, and that's where the charter boats, once that closes, they can't come and fish in the recreational water. <coughs> oh. that's, the, that's another crab tree deal. He says, I know what it, we'll do. It's we'll so just... confusing. Who can even keep up with it? Well, not only that, but it, it's not just confusing. It's just destroying yes. a, a wonderful industry that's so important to this part yes. of the country. And I don't just mean Florida. I mean the same thing for Alabama and Mississippi and Louisiana right. and Texas. They're all suffering. And, you know, my daughter, Deborah, of course, is a research marine biologist for California yes. Fish and Game. She is in charge of reef fish for the California coast. And she has had many challenges against National Marine Fisheries and won. Really? She takes them on and says, oh, prove Deborah. it. Good. And if you can't prove it, don't do it. Well, why don't we have someone like Deborah in well, Florida? Well, good question. Good Gosh. question. Yeah. And, but you see, that's one state. But here, the Gulf includes five states. That's true. And each state has different regular. For example, our state waters extend out nine nautical miles. Yes. Uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, three nautical miles. Oh, see, I didn't know that either. I mean, see, that's another thing that makes this so confusing. It and, really is. And it's so hard to, to, uh, to try and fish under those kind of restrictions. But folks, it's worth it. You know, you just got to go out when, when it's the season. And, but I think that's why people are like, you know, when is it? When is it? Because, you know, it's so short. It, the oh, season is so short. And by the way, anybody that doesn't like king mackerel, tell them what king mackerel oh. tastes like when Jim cooks it. I'm, oh, fantastic! I'm telling you, if you if you cook it fresh, there's no fishy taste whatsoever, and it is delicious. And it's pure white flaky meat. It's very very good, wonderful, and uh, blackened. It's very good blackened too. If you like blackened, oh, spicy. Oh, blackened. So. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, that's a lot of what's going on, and uh, coming up this weekend. Uh, I think Sunday they're having a special day where women can learn boating. They can actually go out in boats. It's down at uh, Treasure Island Marina. Wow, great. And uh, there's a small charge, but then they get certified and they get a ticket. And they'll teach them how to handle a boat, how to dock, how to tie knots, how to do all that kind of stuff. It's just for ladies. That's great. And I wish they'd have one to teach ladies how to back up a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, that is something I still have not mastered. In. <laughs> well, listen, it's it's tricky. Uh, bless Mel, we love him to death, but backing up trailers is still not one of his. I, I have tried, and I just um, I 
I can't do it very well. So anyway, yeah, you're right. I need a class in and that. And by the way, we don't want to pass up freshwater fishing because they're right. doing very well in freshwater. And what are they catching? A lot of shell cracker and a lot of brim and bass and crappie. Oh. And uh, we want to again remind people, if you don't have a boat, yes. you can contact the FWC, Florida Wildlife Commission, and they have something called the Carter Track, which are some lakes they maintain up north of here, not very far up north. They'll provide you a free boat, paddles. Free? No motors life jacket everything you need and they're open on friday saturday sunday and mondays i didn't know that and just look it up wow. on the on your website fwc carter track or contact fwc here uh 265-3676 265-3676 and find out about the carter track you have to of course have a florida fishing license you but, can't beat free but you get a free boat yeah that's, I mean, how can you beat that? That's great. And uh, I've got to make sure I get over to uh, go to AMW Trailers and pick up my canoe. I still haven't, I still haven't picked up my canoe. <laughs> By the way, I do all the cooking and all the grocery shopping. Pat does all the hard work. By the way, just tell them how many schools you handled this past year. Um, well, I actually teach all together in seven districts, six, 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 ahead, six counties. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, Okaloosa and Holmes County, Washington, Calhoun, um, Gulf, Liberty. Um, and then in the summertime, I work in Bay County, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm testing blind babies zero to three years old. And some of them, you've got one that's not even six months old. Yeah, I've had two this week um, under six months. Under of age. six months. Yeah. So this poor lady is really no, working and I love to cook. I do all the cooking and I never, I don't think I ever cook without something that came from Tanya's garden. Oh man, Tanya's garden, you cannot beat it. You guys have got to go out there. I'm going there soon because I love Tanya. She's the, the fan, most fantastic person. She's just, she's just so sweet. She's just a great person. Y'all need to just go out there and meet Tanya. And meet Rio, her new talking oh. bird. <laughs> She's got all these critters. <laughs> uh, but if you have tender ears, you may not want to listen to Rio sometime. <laughs> Some of his language is not good for the TV show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's funny, but it's all so good. And then, of course, AMW Trailers. They've been building trailers there since the 50s. That's incredible. They have all the parts and everything you need. And of course, they've got a new one built for me for my 17-foot canoe that I haven't even picked up. I've been having a few medical issues yes. and haven't picked it up yet. But uh, we'll be out there to pick them up. And uh, right after this break, we're coming back and we're going down to stem to stern and meet some wonderful people and have a great time. For everything you need on or off the water, visit the Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Both locations provide you with easy access boat slips, ramps, fuel, bait, and tackle. Come visit our ship stores and see our unique nautical gifts and clothing. Or just relax with a cool drink and grab a snack while watching the boats come in. Don't forget that Mariner on your shopping list. Come by and see our unique nautical gifts, cards, and clothing at Panama City or St. Andrews Marina. Call 872-7272 for more information. Meet Henson Hindenburg, King of the Road at Baytown Tire, 2609 West 15th Street, just before the curve. For 20 years, he's taken care of your cars, trucks, and commercial vehicles. Baytown Tire carries tires including Michelin, Yokohama, BF, Goodrich, and Uniroyal. A new set gets free rotation every six months. Alignment is done on the latest digital equipment, and his diagnostic can read all your computer info for proper repairs. All his service folks are ASC certified. Give him a call today at 873-8900. Hi folks, Larry Lee here at Coin and Bullion Reserves. The Swiss government has requested that the Federal Reserve return to it all of the gold bullion which it has long had deposited at Fort Knox. Do they know something you and I don't? Well, I think I do know. And I think it may be time for you to consider buying some gold and silver too. And no one will sell you gold and silver cheaper than Coin and Bullion Reserves. And you can take that to the bank. Coin and Bullion Reserves. When was the last time you took a few minutes out of your busy schedule to enjoy the simple things? The wide open spaces, the uncharted territory, 
moments that seem to stick with you for a lifetime. Well, what are you waiting for? Half Hitch, get out there. Need a storage shed, pole barn, or garage? Who do you call? Two-time site-built buildings. They come completely prefabbed with aluminum siding and three-quarter inch floors. Constructed on your property by James McConnell and his crew. With no middleman, his prices is lower, and with easy payment terms. Here's my 12-foot by 20-foot shed that went through a three-foot gate and anchored like a mobile home. He's been building here for 15 years. See the samples at 3822 Highway 98 in Springfield and call today at 850-257-5729. When you want your lawn to go from this to this, you need to call Leroy Dennis and his helper Bill Grimes. They can do it in one day. Not only that, but Leroy offers discounts to seniors and active and former military. He and his partner can handle any commercial jobs. Don't wait to give them a call at 358-6696. Guess what? If you aren't satisfied, I'll pay for it myself. Don't delay. Call the experts now and look great. Well, as I said, a week or so ago, we were down at Stem to Stern. They had a big party and wonderful food and got to meet all the people. And we're going to have a visit with them right now and find out what they have and what they do. So, and then see the fire dance. Wow, I can't believe where we are. We're down here at Stem to Stern, a new boat consignment place. And they're having a grand opening here on June 1st, which should be the grand opening for red snapper season, but the weather was so windy, half of my friends couldn't go. And over here on my right is Dale Arnold. How are you, Dale? I'm doing very well, thank you. And uh, over here is the boss. That's Laurie Lescoot. Did I say it right? You did. How did I get that right? <laughs> and and uh, look, we're all decked out because later on today we were having a great party here. Going to have a fire dancer. Now, where's the, who, who arranged the fire dancer? Is that you or her? I did. did. You did? Yes, we, we flew him in from Hawaii. Is it a friend? He is my daughter's friend. Wow. And he's a professional fire dancer from Honolulu. And when he dances, I guess he goes into the fire. No, he, he twirls the batons and everything with the fire. Oh, with the fire. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he's going to do that out of the back patio on, yep. the, on the cement slab, not near the boats. No. And how no. long have you guys been in business, Dale? Well, we've been in business for a little over two years, but we've been uh, mobile at most of that time. Uh, we've been in this location since November, and we opened the consignment February 4th of this year. Okay, and I can see it's a, it, it is a super marine junk shop, and, and the thing about that is when you watch some of these shows with the pickers and those kind of things, sure. you see what great stuff it is. Every, anybody that's got a boat or whatever, there's something in here they need, isn't that right? Oh, yes, definitely. We and have you everything. Work in, you work in here full time? Not full time, but I'm here the majority of the time. And uh, how about you? You're here most of the time? Uh, no, I'm more full time. than. And do you any do any servicing on boats and things? Uh, yes, sir. We do uh, everything from rigging to uh, hull repair to we dive on boats, we clean boat bottoms. Uh, carburetors? Do you clean carburetors? Uh, any we, other? we do service work, yes, sir. That's what I mean. You do some service work. Yes, sir. Now, you said you have consignment. Uh, for example, I have a 17-foot Boston whaler that I'm going to be putting up for sale. If I brought that down, would I bring the boat here or just bring the pictures and you'd find me a buyer? Well, at our present location, we don't have a lot of room to put uh, most of the boats. So what we ask is that people bring us information and pictures of the, the, the vessel. And from there, we have several locations that we advertise. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I wanted to know. And, of course, I'm happy to say that you're going to become a new sponsor on Jim Wilson's FNN Fishing News Network com. Looking forward to that. Thank you. And uh, I have to say that, you know, we don't have any other hotties on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I was fortunate I got the hottie. <laughs> well, I do, too. Take a look at mine operating the camera. Everybody loves my dear wife, Pat, and... Uh, she is my hottie, that's for sure. Oh, definitely. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> and you haven't seen my two little dogs, but I have two miniature dachshunds. They just steal the show whenever we're on. And uh, we'll be bringing those down in here one day. Now, uh, cosmetic work. Do you do any fiberglass cosmetic stuff? We do gel coat repair, some uh, light fiberglass repair. We, well, that's we, what I mean, yeah. Yeah, we don't do major construction anymore. We try to do maybe transom repairs, 
Um, say you've gone up on your boat trailer and you missed the, the roller. That's me. That's what I need fixing. Yep, and you take a big gouge out of the keel. Yeah, no, not the keel, right up on the bowsprit. Well, we'll fix that. That's what I want to know. And do you do any of this work or do you just stand behind the counter? No, I do all the advertising and um, I don't do the fiberglass work. Although now, I do I do the charters and, and uh, sail. And now you have a captain's license, don't you? Yes, I do. I have 110. You got a hundred ton? I do. Wow, okay. Do you do any chartering now? Yes, we do. Private or what? Well, we have a 30-foot Catalina that's our boat that we charter on, and then we also use the Fair Trades, which belongs to Mike Plipman, and we uh, crew for him as well. Okay, and how about you? Do you do any chartering? Yes, sir. You have a captain's license. Yes, I also have a hundred ton, uh, and again, we, we charter for Mike Plipman on the Fair Trades out of St. Andrews. And we also charter uh, our Catalina. And we also do deliveries, yacht deliveries all around the hemisphere um, from the other side of uh, Florida to Mexico. Right. Now, Catalina is a sailboat, isn't it? Yes, sir. And you have how many mooring spaces do you have back here? Well, uh, the mooring spaces uh, available is unlimited. The dock space that we have is probably about. Well, I meant dock space. Yeah, well, we have uh, about 18 more slips left. We have 55 full. Oh, you have 55 full already. Yes. That's fantastic. And you have, you've hardly done any advertising. No, sir. Uh, the the uh, marina belongs to Laidback Boat Club, Boat Club Marina, uh, owned by John Dara here in town. And uh, we are the dock masters for the marina. Okay, so you're the managers for the marina. Well, not, not so much the manager of the marina as much as the, the maintenance crew, if you will, for taking care of it. But if somebody wants to uh, get a space here, they would come to your office here. They, and let's be sure people get the address. Well, it's, it's, uh, they can come here uh, or call uh, the uh, office uh, for layback. Uh, our address is 225 East Beach Drive in Panama City. And that's just before you get to the drawbridge? Correct. Directly across the street, I can see Second Chance. And also, uh, tarpon, dock. Huh? tarpon Dock. And Tarpon Dock Seafood. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's an easy location to find. And I'm sitting here looking around. My gosh, I see outboard motors, trolling motors, uh, scuba diving tanks. You're also a certified diver, right? Yes, sir. We're both uh, cer uh, certified. Okay. And uh, what else do you want to tell folks about coming in? Other than the fact today is going to be your official grand opening day. Yes. Well, we have things that not everybody will have. Uh, we don't have everything, but we have uh, uh, items that West Marine may not carry. And everything that we have here is, is uh, slightly used and uh, at a much reduced price from what's on the market today. Well, the other thing about what you have is a lot of these older boats still need some of this older stuff. Yeah. And that's about it. Have you got a pretty good knowledge of all this stuff? I see you got a, a bunch of really heavy-duty anchors over there. Well, I kind of leave that up to Dale and then our brother-in-law, Mark. Okay. He, oh, um, runs now, Mar I didn't realize Mark was a brother-in-law. Yes, he runs the shop for us because um, uh, he volunteers. He, he strictly volunteers to come in when we need him, and he helps out. So That's he has a real good knowledge of all the um, items that we have in here. Well, I'm just looking around, and I see all the stuff you have, and I'm... I know that my wife is over there thinking, boy, you got to get down and get rid of some of your stuff because <laughs> I have so much good junk. Well, we have 50 consigners, and we can always use more. Uh, the more inventory that we have through here, the more happy sailors we can bring through here and, and find them what they need. Well, we're going to uh, take a pause and a break right now, and when we come back, we're going to be getting ready to party with the fire dancer. How about that? Oh, yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> Hi folks, Larry Lee here at Coin and Bullion Reserves. The Swiss government has requested that the Federal Reserve return to it all of the gold bullion which it has long had deposited at Fort Knox. Do they know something you and I don't? Well, I think I do know. And I think it may be time for you to consider buying some gold and silver too. And no one will sell you gold and silver cheaper than Coin and Bullion Reserves. And you can take that to the bank. 
Pete Henson Hindenburg, King of the Road at Baytown Tire, 2609 West 15th Street, just before the curve. For 20 years, he's taken care of your cars, trucks, and commercial vehicles. Baytown Tire carries tires including Michelin, Yokohama, BF, Goodrich, and Uniroyal. A new set gets free rotation every six months. Alignment is done on the latest digital equipment, and his diagnostic can read all your computer info for proper repairs. All his service folks are ASC certified. Give him a call today at 873-8900. The Captain Anderson makes fishing a breeze. There's a galley on board, and your comfortable trip is all-inclusive. Rod, reel, tackle, bait, and your fishing license. The traditional all-day trip from 7 to 5 p.m. Come aboard the Captain Anderson for a relaxing day of bottom fishing. There's plenty of room, so bring the whole family. It's a whopping big adventure, and that's no fish tail. The Captain Anderson is located at Captain Anderson's Marina, where the fish are always biting and the kids are always smiling. Please call for cruise schedules. When was the last time you took a few minutes out of your busy schedule to enjoy the simple things? The wide open spaces, the uncharted territory, the moments that seem to stick with you for a lifetime. Well, what are you waiting for? Half Hitch, get out there. Need a storage shed, pole barn, or garage? Who do you call? Two-time site-built buildings. They come completely prefabbed with aluminum siding and three-quarter-inch floors. Constructed on your property by James McConnell and his crew. With no middleman, his prices is lower, and with easy payment terms. Here's my 12-foot by 20-foot shed that went through a three-foot gate and anchored like a mobile home. He's been building here for 15 years. See the samples at 3822 Highway 98 in Springfield and call today at 850-257-5729. When you want your lawn to go from this to this, you need to call Leroy Dennis and his helper Bill Grimes. They can do it in one day. Not only that, but Leroy offers discounts to seniors and active and former military. He and his partner can handle any commercial jobs. Don't wait to give them a call at 358-6696. Guess what? If you aren't satisfied, I'll pay for it myself. Don't delay. Call the experts now and look great tomorrow. <laughs> Well, we just want to thank you all for watching again and hope we can teach you something about fishing and try to have our lovely wife pat on during the summer because you've got more time. you got a little tan, too. Yeah, yeah, and I love being on the show. It's just really fun, and I, I, I love, you know, talking with you about the fishing. I love going fishing. Oh, I love I anything to do with fishing, actually. All right. Well, let's give me one kiss. Goodbye. Okay. See you later, folks. Thanks. Tight lines. <laughs>